bringing it to a close. Uh, I mean, with this and uh, Gallant in, in a couple weeks, so it's like, all right, like online stuff isn't going to end, but it's really cool to see the big one happen before we really yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and we will certainly be chatting more about this because I think uh, there's a lot of praises that need to be sung for many of the folks putting in a lot of work here. But Absolutely. with that, we have some melee to talk about instead. So game one going straight to, uh, as I like to call it, Fight Club in doubles because three <laughs> people just died in the first 30 seconds. Um, and Run Ride and Tempo take the first lead of the set. I mean, it's, it's the double specialist going on right now. That's what we're expecting. Okay, let's see. Queen's not able to get that edge guard. Okay. Slade and Dark throw, no pick up from up. Slade. Oh, and a miscommunication Ooh. there too. Yeah, and you can kind of see, I think, the just kind of the fundamental differences of a double fox comp like Dark Tooth and Slade, for instance, versus IBW and Moki, who we just saw. And I think the biggest thing is kind of uh, Slade was looking for an edge guard there. Wires got crossed a little bit. They're able to pick it up right there and more or less even the game out. But it ended up resulting in uh, Dark Tooth killing Slade there early, just from kind of a bit of miscommunication. Um, you don't often see that if you're not overextending like that and maybe just looking for your 2v1s instead. And I do want to clarify, just because I, I know that sometimes with the double teams, it is a little complicated. Uh, Dark Tooth is the darker purple, and Slade is the lighter fox. Ooh, nice needles! Does get back. All right. I am shocked that all four players are still on the stage right now. But someone was going to die. Wasn't sure who, wasn't sure which team. Yeah, Something sure. was going to happen. All right. Okay. Ooh, Tempo dies off the top there. Run right, still holding on to plenty. Oh, as they say that, never mind. Run right tempo, holding on to one extra stock, trying to make this happen. Okay, nice pickup from Slade. Ooh, okay, yeah, Darktooth gets the shield up also, so he doesn't get hit by that up smash. Pretty huge there. Kind of sweat. Oh my god, how many down smashes are we going to get here? <laughs> Never enough. Last game wise, look, wait a second. Down smash is such a good move, no matter what character it's on, in double specifically. Okay. This is, yeah. I was going to say a bit of a miscue, but it didn't matter that much because he was able to pick it up on Dark Tooth either way. But Slade is just kind of finding these wacky grabs and converting it into damage. This is just completely even now, wisely. Mm hmm. That Nair doesn't get the grab. Down tilt. Ooh, the needles to reverse. Let's see. Oh, yeah, I thought we were going to see, like, a soft up air there. Oh, he, he hit the ledge, but then let go! And he was under 100, too, so he could just do normal getup and act, probably just take the stop, uh, set right there. Make it hard for Fox to get down. Slade is really trying to poke, trying to get under Sheik here right now, using that long dash dance. Oh, my gosh. That's dead. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah, I thought okay. that maybe we're going to be able to see a side B come out in time, but no, Slade dies. Run right, tempo, take game one. Yeah, uh, that was that got a little bit precarious towards the end there, getting a little sweating a little bit. But I mean, you know, I think if you're taking that game on Yoshi's, you're feeling pretty good. Um, mm -hmm. You got to wonder, maybe does Dark Tooth and Slade, do they want to go back to Yoshi's or do they want to kind of increase the space, remove some platforms, perhaps like what's going to be the uh, the mentality there? I mean, I, I think that's really a, a take your pick kind of thing. Double Fox very good at the scrap, very good at the scramble. But you're also going to be able to outrun, a, you know, a, a Sheik or any really any character that's not Fox. And so uh, I could see a lot of stages going well here. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if we saw Pokemon trying to get some more kills off the top, uh, even though the Run Riot tempo team does have a Fox on it. Sure. Um, it also gives a little bit more room to run and try to kind of stay away from that that Sheik. Uh, really lets you either stay away or, you know, focus on them. All right, yep. Yeah. Pokemon, like I was thinking. Getting right into it, just drills across the board from the three foxes. Sheik just trying to slap her way into this fight, but cannot find it. Gets the dash attack, and what a conversion. Actually still going. Mm-hmm. Ooh, that, that, okay. I thought that was going to be like, the earliest kill with one more follow-up on tempo there. 
it's just like explosions happening in the middle of the screen. <laughs> One person gets hit, someone else down smashes, and three people fly. I didn't see how that killed! What I think happened? Slade accidentally up smashes Darktooth there, maybe thinking Darktooth was gonna pick up uh, Run Riot instead, and that... kind of just gets a traded hit or something like that to send, uh, send the Blue Fox off screen. Uh, may not amount to much though if they can find the kill on Run Riot eventually, but you don't want to see that. While we were early talking about that, Run Riot and Tempo put together one of the coolest double combos I've seen in a minute. Dude, they're really good. Yeah. <laughs> this is really good. I literally just want to go back like 30 seconds and see how that happened again. All wow, right, yep, grab up, smash. Release, too. I was... Yeah, I mean, Tempo had the right idea, mashed out in time, but it doesn't really matter if you can just pick up off the grab release anyway. Ooh, over ambitious down smash. Pick it up, yep. Yeah. Ooh, interesting. Okay. Yeah, I was gonna say there's one of those situations where you have to really figure out like, do I wanna close out the edge guard or do I immediately run over to try to get the 2v1? Yeah. It's that impossible 50 50 you have to choose. Watch your teammate die or <laughs> take a kill yourself. But uh, mm -hmm. it ended up working out for red team there, but we're pretty even stocks across the board. Wow, triple jab out of tempo, too. He should not be able to get away with that. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff that you just, like... I know uh, the, the, the typical joke is that, like, nothing... Everything that's not true is just a, a mix-up waiting to happen. But in doubles, it's even more so. Of, like, I've seen a lot of yeah. totally fake things in doubles, but Absolutely. you can get away with a lot of shenanigans. Yeah, run right. All right, up the top. Wait for him. Double Fox up to Queen Stocks. Could be getting some early kills, but um, it really seems like the extra space to play is really working out for him. You're not seeing as many crazy, like, doubles combos from, from Tempo and Run Riot. Okay, he can be oh, misspaced. Oh, and the air dodge, a little bit over ambitious, too. Picks up from Run Riot. This is going to get a little bit precarious now. I mean, I said they were up two clean stocks. Not so anymore. Run right and tempo are at high percents, but not quite the kill percents that the foxes are looking for. Okay. How's tempo playing defense? Run right makes it back. A lot of nares right now. Uh oh, nares the wrong person. Holds the ledge. Yeah, yeah. Oh. No. Yeah, there was an angle there that Run Riot could have taken to survive there, but I think he was worried he would potentially get a little bit too close to the stage. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, pretty rough position. Okay, one and one. Oh my gosh. I I really wonder where we're gonna see here. I we mean, started on Yoshi's, we got we got Pokemon. Um it seems like Run Riot and Tempo really like to be able to immediately start off with those 2v1 combos. Um, they're really good at finding those, even even when the the other opponents on like still on stage, because sure, uh, a lot yeah. of teams will just they'll only be able to get those long extensions when you know it's someone's in the middle of dying or being edge guarded. Um, yeah, I, I, I almost totally feel like see... I, say, I almost feel battlefield because mm -hmm. um you know the kind of entropy of uh, of Yoshi's story really played to their advantage in that <gasps> first game. Rough wow. situation for Dark Tooth accidentally finds himself way below battlefield late hit nair almost resulted in a dead slate it might do it anyway he is dead okay pretty big stock swing right now let's see if the blue team can even this one back up though run right tempo kind of playing a little bit of pincer right now on either edge Just playing their respective games finding some mm -hmm. early kills I mean, and that's exactly what they're looking for here. You really, like, like we were saying, they're content to play, like, solid neutral and then blast open when they find that spot. They're not trying to get as many scramble situations because that's where the foxes are going to shine a bit more. Ooh. Oh, my gosh. Okay. That's a trade. That's fine. I think we that's saw this in the previous red. game. Tempo just kind of getting a little bit eager with extra pummels on each of his grabs. He does two pummels there, gets wrapped up by uh, Shine Up Smash, dies a little bit early when, he, you know, it's possible he could have just thrown Fox and at that percent would have been like a projectile and thrown him into a blue team teammate. 
I, it, it, there's been a couple times now where Dark Tooth and Slate have kind of gotten into each other's way just a little bit. And if they were playing like one more character like away from each other, I think we could see a lot of openings go their way. There, let's see. Wow, really good uh, recovery out of tempo there. Finds ledge as well, lives to see another day and might actually take a stock to go. Make that two. Yeah, that's a huge swing for red team. Huge, huge advantage to run right and tempo. And I think, again, like we were saying before, just the small stage, the compactness of everything mm -hmm. is like they're thriving in this chaos, it feels like. Oh, and see, that's exactly what I was talking about. There was ran in for the shine there and accidentally killed his own teammate. Yeah, the, big the, the foxes climb. are doing really well in the scramble situations until foxes are there. Ooh, yeah, he's got to die for that. Yeah. <laughs> it's the most aggressive angle I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, if there's a world where Dark Tooth finds that shine and then makes it past tempo to recover, God. <laughs> uh, he's, he's probably the best player and in in, remaining in this bracket. But uh, alas, does not find the miracle there for stocks. Two games to one tempo Red Riot, or Run Riot, excuse me. Um, game point for the set and to advance into losers finals. Mm -hmm. Reminder that the winner of this will be playing Odie and Plup, uh, and then Moki and IBDW are waiting in grands. So uh, it's a lot on the line here. There's a yes, lot sir. on the line. Yeah. So let's see if we can force a game five out of this situation. Um, I mean, not out of the realm of possibility. I think space has kind of been the name of the game. If you're closed areas, you're run riot and tempo, and they're doing great. Mm -hmm. If you're kind of wide open fields, maybe Slade and Darktooth doing a little bit better. So maybe we see a Dreamland see, on the horizon. I could see Dreamland or I could see FD at this point. Sure. Uh, yeah. Either either age with just like long room to run. Uh, that's all. That's all a Fox really wants in life, isn't it? You just want to be able to dash dance. That's all. Just all a right. woodland creature to run free. <laughs> no platforms here, though. Just one giant platform in FD. Game four. Let's get after it. Oh, uh, this is getting God, really the sketchy. Side of the stage is just so scary right yeah. now. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Tempo this... kind of just straight up edge guarded run riot there for a few iterations in a row. A bit of a miscue, I think. It all started. Tempo kind of accidentally forward tilted a uh, run riot without a jump, and then that resulted in a bunch of recovery attempts. Run riot actually just dying from tempo grabbing ledge as well. So let's see if they can even this one back Fox. up. Yep. Slade loses his first stock there. Tempo at pretty high percent. Any bit more, and yep, that's exactly what we were going to look for. Yeah, and wisely, that's exactly the throw I was talking about from Run Riot. He sees that uh, Slade's looking to pick up the coverage there, mm -hmm. and then just forward throws straight in. Okay, not... Okay, I was going to say not amazing communication there, but... Two <laughs> that's two that's two it's oh my god, he got back! Drops the edge guard. Yeah, Temple between a rock and a hard place, or a Slade and a Dark Tooth right now. Let's see if they're able to make it out alive. Run Riot still trying to live. That was such a good the falling up air to get that kill on Run Riot. Ooh. All right, and Tempo's Tempo. dead too. This has just been the quickest three, two, three stock swing. Dark Tooth and Slade back in the lead. I feel like, and that's such a pivotal stock to lose also. I think if you're Tempo there and you potentially live that, Get a little bit more percent, maybe find a team combo off of run right. I uh, forget everything I'm saying wisely. They're just finding stocks left and right. I don't know anything anymore. Oh my god, I thought that thought that was gonna be a double kill into two two characters get one ups, man. So let's go. Alright, is this gonna be taken? Wow. No great it's angle from Run Riot. Just hang on ledge, let Tempo play defense for you. Let's see if we can even this back up. Run Riot mm -hmm. needs to hold on to this stock. Not seeing as many of the two for ones, but ooh, okay. I thought Run Riot was just gonna be. All right, never mind. Does still lose that stock? There's been so many swings. Every other game in this set so far has been one team in the lead for most of the game, and instead, this has just been so back and forth. Yeah, absolutely. 
Darktooth getting caught up in the mix right now. Nine. Oh. Huge damage right now. Tempo's not there in time to pick it back up. Darktooth on the ledge. No edge guard just yet, but we can kind of play defense here. Defense. Slade's now stage. Oh my god, that angle was holding hard down. Wow. Yeah, red team can close the door on this right now wisely, but not if the up air is coming through. Still alive. That's all we need. All right, Darktooth and Slade, if they're able to hold this, Slade if, yeah. is looking in pretty, pretty dangerous percent, but great stage positioning. That's okay. going to be a yeah. kill. That's going to be another one. We've got a game five on our hands. Wow. Yeah, really, really, really close there. Uh, kind of miscommunications throughout throughout that from the red side. I'm not going to say that there were exactly misplays, but I think kind of starting out that uh that momentum of you know your teammate accidentally edge guards you, you you go down pretty early in that set i don't know i mean if we're gonna see another complete domination like that battlefield game which was like a four stock or something like that uh gots to be mm -hmm. tightened up a little bit on that side i mean i i'm just glad that we're seeing a game five of this because it's been so explosive um I, I guess. Are we going to see Dreamland? It's the only stage we haven't really been to yet, but Maybe, uh, it doesn't yeah. seem like either of them. Oh, all right. All right. I was going to say, if the, if the theme of having uh, less space is kind of playing to Red Team's advantage, did we see a Pokemon game? I'm not sure. We did. That was that was the first one where we were saying the, the long base stage is going to give uh, the double fox sure, a lot sure. of room to run, and then they, they did exactly that. Yep. Tempo and Run Riot are doing a little bit better when they're cramped. Dark Tooth and Slade do a little bit better with the open space. I'm a little concerned that Dreamland had to be the final pick. Yeah, let's see what happens here. A bit even right now, Slade kind of being the stockholder mm -hmm. here, though. Only 11% to his name, and he might pick up another stock right now. Run Riot coming to play Interception, but able to break up the action. Actually just nares Tempo offstage himself, though. Yep, and that's a dead Tempo. Sometimes you don't need to get the hit. You just need the edge guard. Let the teammate do it. Okay, breaks it up. Nice pick up. Ooh, okay. Oh, yeah, barely, temp barely misses that temp forward air. Yeah, Darktooth and Slade kind of running away with this one right now. Nair it was so tricky. Tempo was able to find a Nair super deep there and just destroy Darktooth for it. Yeah, and Slade's still holding on to the stock. That has to be a kill. Yep. And another one. Yeah, just grab mm -hmm. ledge. I mean, I thought that Slade was going to be able to, to sneak his way in there, but not, not quite fast enough. Power shield grab attempt. Not quite going to get there from Tempo. Looking to try to find some type of gimp opportunity. Run Riot comes in to break up all the action, but oh my god, it is just mayhem going on, and... Blue team has them really split up right now, and that's where they're kind of struggling, I think, if you're on the red side. This is so even, though, so back and forth. Run right at the highest percent. Not going to die to that, though. Ooh, good edge guard there. Barely sneaks in. Grab ledge, yep. yep. There's that Nair. It's the back air. How is this oh, edge guarding completely? This doesn't make any sense. It is double. <laughs> I mean, that's why it didn't end in one of them, but still. Oh, all of I, mean, them. I yeah. love watching Tempo run right so much. Their double synergies off the charts. Uh, Dark yeah, but... and Slade, though, I guess it's still four stocks to four stocks. It's just Slade really stock tanking right now. Yeah, for as much synergy as these two might have, Dark Tooth and Slade really just holding it down. Specifically, mm -hmm. Slade, when it comes to hanging on to stocks right now, three stocks, 140, going to die off the top right there, and we're in an even game for game five. This is, combo could be huge, though. Yeah, that that was so much percent on Dark Tooth. Didn't die, though, and I think they really needed that stock. Wow, CC down smash gonna force the stock exchange out of Dark Tooth. One stock advantage is very, very doable for blue team, not out of the realm of possibility whatsoever. No, not at all. We've seen some crazy swings in this already. All right, Run Riot kind of stuck in the middle there. Yeah, just hang on to ledge. Hold on to the stage so that, yep, exactly, exactly. Nice pickup, huge missed tech as well. Don't 
much scrap. I yeah, wisely, I almost kind of getting into this idea, like we said earlier, the entropy of just all of these things going on, cramped areas. The stage is massive, but the four of them have just found themselves under the same platform constantly, and it's mm -hmm. up to Slade to close this out. If they were able to force a little bit more space, maybe that would have gone a different way. Slade, are you going to do it, though? One up smash will take it from both of these. This is so you hard, though, because I smash, he, one game. It's <laughs> so risky in this situation, because if either one grabs, the set's over. Okay. This is up. Oh, if you can you find the kill, to get this stock quick. All right. Nope. If you if if Slade was able Task to get that ready. before, should be it. Quite yet. Oh my God! Makes it back. Okay. okay. That has this. This is it. This is it. It's over. Okay. <laughs> Tell me it's over, Wisely. I'm closing we, my eyes. We knew that Slade was far enough off stage, and we both were just like, yeah, but what if he teleports? Like, what happens? 